Welcome, my name is Dr. Jason W. Morrison and I'm a theologist from New South Wales, Australia. Psychologists help people with themselves and other people and theologists help people with themselves and God. Dr. Jason W. Morrison, theologist, and I just want to say thank you to everybody that's made it thus far to Chapter 7. You've done so well. It's not an easy book to follow, but we're in the middle of a, a heavenly and earthly calamity. So let's continue on in chapter 7 where we read about the seal of Israel. After these things I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. Can you imagine that? The wind, that the wind should not blow on the earth. Just holding back the wind. I'm a kite surfer. I wouldn't be real happy about that. On the sea or on any tree. Could you imagine how dry that would be? In fact, the wind has a lot to do with um, the, um, it does spread disease, but it also clears the air. It's got so many um, attributes to it, the wind, and so many needs. Then I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth, the sea, or the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. So they've asked everything to stop until the servants of God that are remaining are sealed on their foreheads. And I heard the number of those who were sealed. And, and, and it, here it is. It's 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel were sealed. Now here we go. Here, the 144,000 are described specifically as Jews. And leading up to this point, the Lord himself warned that don't say you're a Jew if you're not a Jew. So this lot of 144,000 are specifically Jews. So God help you if you've said you're one of the 144,000 and you're not a Jew. God help you. There you go, Jehovah Witnesses. This 144,000 has got nothing to do with Gentile people. And yet the Jehovah Witness organization, the Watchtower Society, has convinced millions upon millions that the 144,000 can be whoever they think it was. And it's irrelevant because it's only supposed to be, and it says in the scriptures, the children of Israel. So if you're not a Jew and you think you're one of the 144,000, you're among the most deceived people that's ever walked the earth. Okay, and here they come from. The tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Reuben, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Gad, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Asher, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Naphtali, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Manasseh, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Simeon, Levi, Issachar, Zebulun, Joseph and Benjamin all had 12,000 sealed. Now are you from any of those tribes? After these things I looked and behold a great multitude which no one could number of all nations, tribes, peoples and tongues standing before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes. So who are they? They're not the 144,000 the Jehovah Witnesses are talking about. It's everyone that believes in the Lord Jesus Christ. With palm branches in their hands and crying out with a loud voice saying, Salvation belongs to the God, our God, who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and the elders and the four living creatures and fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom, thanksgiving and honour and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders answered, saying to me, Who are these arrayed in white robes and where did they come from? You might be asking that yourself. And I said to him, Sir, you know. So he said to me, These are the ones who came out of the great tribulation and washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will dwell among them, and they shall neither hunger any more nor thirst any more, and the sun shall not strike them nor any heat. 
For the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to living fountains of waters, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. So, there goes the whole Jehovah Witness um, doctrine just collapsed right before their feet in chapter 7, where you have the Jews as represented as 144,000, and then a whole multitude from every tribe, nation, and tongue surrounding the throne singing blessing and honor and glory and wisdom thanksgiving and honor and power might be to our god forever and ever amen for saving them isn't that wonderful and on that note we'll close yeah dr jason morrison theologist again i just want to say thank you for watching the videos and i uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it watch it on youtube please share or like um, maybe even comment watch it on facebook like comment share um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one-off life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.